Okay, so it has been a year since I've seen this list called the best superhero movies of all time by the top tens. I I'm gonna guess that <clears throat> with the movie that used to be on here, I'm gonna see if it still is number one, or it's a Dark Knight. This list is a looks like all the other lists on the top tens is pretty old, pretty old lists. I think if you go down here, let's see how old this is. Yeah, it's 11 years old. Which, yeah, older movies do have the advantage since they have been out for longer. Even if the movie... Yeah, the older movies have advanced Because they have been out for longer than newer movies. So, yeah. We're going to be going all the way back. All the way back to the list. So, yeah. Now we're going with the best superhero movies of all time. Oh, Dark Knight is still number one. It's still number one on this list. Because it used to be... You know, because considering that, you know, that any, that a certain movie about a purple guy came out, his name is called Thanos, I'm surprised that that movie didn't beat The Dark Knight, but Dark Knight is still at number one, and yeah, it's still at number one. Next is The Avengers, the first one, I'm surprised the first one's higher than the other two, considering how people say, oh, it give the best movie ever, you know, it's reasonable, okay? But yeah, Avengers is still at number two. I think the top three is still the same. The Dark Knight Rises. And we have Spider-Man 2. Okay. And yeah. That was really, yeah. This movie is at number four. Spider-Man 2. I think this is probably one of the most overrated superheroes of all. Not superheroes of all time. Superhero movies of all time. I'm really tired. But yeah. Superhero movies of all time. And yeah. Spider-Man 2. Completely. is a, It's a very overrated movie. Not as overrated as a certain other movie. I'm surprised that isn't in top five. But yeah, you know, you know, it's, this movie's pretty overrated. There's much better Spider-Man movies that have come out over the years, and they're still ranking Spider-Man Two as collectively the greatest Spider-Man movie of all time. A Dark Knight Rises. I can see why this one has F three, but Spider-Man Two is very overrated. Next is Batman Begins. So top, three of the top five movies are the Dark Knight movies. All three of them. Rogan is at number six. I'm surprised that's not in the top five. Rogan is about... <coughs> we mean, there is some... <coughs> it's a conclusion to Wolverine's one as the Wolverine. Spoilers, Wolverine dies in the movie because it's the end of the Wolverine movies. <coughs> so what a fitting thing is that Wolverine is dead. But yeah, a lot of the action scenes, this movie is actually more violent than Joker. It is. It's more violent than Joker. Joker is less violent than Rogan. Guardians of the Galaxy. I, 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 I of course, can agree with Guardians of the Galaxy being the top 10 superhero movies on there. Captain America Civil War? Uh, yeah, we, yeah, basically... Yeah, it has the, you know, it's basically the, you know, most dramatic movie in the end of the MCU. Sent with the Soldier is at number 9. I'm, at, I'm surprised that, yeah, if any was not even top 10, that is surprising. That if any was not even in top 10, that is surprising to very say at least Iron Man is at number 10. Well, he was heavily saved the world when they needed the most. He won't go on to. I'm putting his wife on. When we the events, he has a few of who I did these. And yeah, there's a the Spider Man, the first one. And yo, and, oh, and the end game is on this place. I always mention. I always talk about how overrated end game is. I still think. I, don't, I still think that end game is a great movie, but I don't think it's the. Greatest movie in the entire universe, like these people make it out to be, make out Endgame to be like this. You know, first of all, Endgame has Fortnite references. Okay, it has freaking Fortnite in the in the movie. Okay, come on. Okay, well, why do we need Fortnite in in Marvel movies? Okay, we don't need Marvel. And of course, let's not forget that that a very 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 cringy scene, the with all the women teaming up at the end of the movie. It's just like, why do we need all this cringy stuff? Right, you know. Easily, 20 to 40 minutes of... It's like they want to make the movie three hours. It's like they want to make sure the movie can drag it out. Like, let's just compare Avengers Endgame to a movie like War of the Wings. War of the Wings, compared to Endgame, there, there's lots of stuff... There's lots of content, stuff going around, okay, in the movie. There's lots of things. 
you know, and you understand why War of the Rings is three hours long, all three of the movies, War of the Rings, not the Hobbit movies. But you understand why they're three hours long because it's full of content, full of, you know, it's not full of filler, basically. It's not full of filler that, you know, shouldn't be in the movie. Endgame is full of filler and stuff to make the movie longer. That's how you not make a three hour movie. You don't put filler in a movie just to make the movie seem, just to make the movie longer, okay? Yeah, next is X Men: Days of the Future Past. Surprised none of the X Men. Oh yeah, who gets the X Men movie? But yeah, Batman, Deadpool, Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, I do agree with this guy. My Reynolds is really funny. He, let's look at Deadpool two, one and two, and Detective Pikachu. You know, he could really be the new Jim Carrey. He's really, really he is really, really funny. X Men, X Two, and Men United. Batman Mask of the Phantasm. Yeah, this is yeah the, the Incredibles. Oh yeah, this is the, yeah the most oh, yeah all right. The Incredibles is the most overrated superhero movie of all time. Yeah, I yeah this yeah this movie is the most overrated. Probably one of the most overrated movies in history. And yeah, people were bragging about Ron Bale's scores, but Endgame and Black Panther also have a ninety-seven percent. Yeah, that that guy is correct. But Black Panther also has the same score as The Incredibles. So, and that movie is also over here too. But yeah, Iron Man 3, is that night 21, X-Men First Class. <coughs> Spider-Man and Spider-Verse is at 23. Homecoming Superman. That's the old, old Superman. Four Ragnarok is at, you know, 26. Black Panther. Actually, it's tied of the Incredibles, and if we want to go by want poopy tomatoes, that's what want tomatoes is. It's poopy tomatoes because they give like, you know, they give, they give Captain Marvel seventy eight percent, which is it was Captain Marvel is really undeserving at seventy eight percent. But yeah, X Men: The Amazing Spider Man, Watchmen, Iron Man Two, Batman Returns, Kick Ass. Yeah, there wasn't really many movies on here. Now again to like newer movies and more obscure stuff. For the Dark World, Big Hero Six, Boy Five Guys of Galaxy Volume Two. Yeah, I do agree with Sony's here. These movies like some some of these movies are like really really well for the rest. <coughs> Higher than movies that you know no one cares about essentially. Or really, really bad movies. Joker's not even a superhero movie, it's about a villain. Joker's not even a superhero, and Joker's on the list. Aquaman, it's at 65. Dragon Ball Z is on here. Captain Marvel is at 74. I see which movies are worse than Captain Marvel. The Power of Girls movie is worse than Captain Marvel. X-Men Apocalypse is worse than Captain Marvel. Yeah, and Mad Wasp is lower. Lower. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. So this guy hates Civil War, but he likes Ant-Man and the Wasp. He likes Ant-Man and the Wasp over Civil War. And he says, best superhero movie, watch it. Here's my least favorite superheroes. The other ones, no one cares about. But Captain America Civil War is what sticked out to me. Yeah, it's kind of like four is below Captain Marvel. Let's remember that. Green Lantern, really bad Green Lantern movies that in the list. The Matrix is not a superhero movie. I don't, yeah, I don't think the Matrix series is superhero movies. I don't think the Matrix counts as a superhero movie. I could be wrong, but I don't think it's a superhero movie. But yeah, that's the list of the top superhero movies of all time. If the Matrix is a superhero movie, the first one would be in the top 10. Yeah. Oh, uh, 
Let's see how. Oh yeah, it's the only nine minutes. And I was making these videos wrong. Let's go on the worst superhero movies. Oh, the worst of the worst. So Batman, Robin. Yeah, DC is really holding the honor of the worst superhero movies on here. Batman, Robin. That's the really old one. Catwoman, Fantastic Four, Superman Four. Yeah, four of the five movies are DC movies. Batman vs Superman. Oh, XY, that's Marvel. Green Lantern, that's DC. Howard the Duck, that's Marvel Steel. Never heard of... The, oh, that's DC again. Suicide Squad, DC. So it's... Three Marvel movies and seven DC movies are on the list. So it's all DC movies are on the list. And, he, and people were like, Oh, but you, you, you're Marvel fan boy. But this, I, because I said this list is all DC movies. Because, you know... And of course, most of those movies... On this list, are completely terrible to begin with. So, yeah, like Batman vs Superman. Yeah, then we go further down the list. Dragon Ball Evolution. You know, that's been a top ten. That's been a top ten. That's the like the worst movie in the entire history, besides Cats and the Evolution movie. And yeah, that's basically it. Goodbye.